Keep Glock, clap quicker, hot mosquito, grab that chiga, drop that. Skdash! So it's about that time. You know, this morning, me have to come to and kick off the vlog with this new vibes cartel. The song Bad Men Light Chip Glock. Black swash sticker, pull up in a black beam, scrap the back wind, that black in a. So vibes cartel, gone back in a the black cartel style in this one. On a notice on the cover art in the rearview mirror, a black cartel, you know, see? Yeah. So vibes cartel give them a different character in this new one right here chip glock yes people vibes cartel even mentioned bunty name and uh, missy bunty react to the song is like bunty this alkaline when he post it and say one song better than a whole album <laughs> seems like some shit that you right there so people let me know what you think in the comment section bunty killer my daddy that's godzilla may i tell you people you see to all vibes cartel drop the amount of lyrics in other song yeah you can't listen to it one time you have to listen to that song yeah more than one time more than a few times more than three times that song yeah the amount of pull up it off you get and when vibes cartel say cooler than the snowman equally abominable yo it's like vibes cartel going at some lyrics it just bring back your memories the certain things where you know like what vibes cartel really mean is a creature a monster looking creature where people always refer to as the abominable snowman they mean for build a movie of it you know so it's like vibes cartel i say cooler than the snowman equally abominable terrible yo it's like vibes cartel not talk about no snow the snowman with them you know kids always build up in winter time you see it so you have to look into the lyrics and here with vibes cartel i say in this new one chip glock and next thing me have to talk about in this song are the flow with vibes cartel use from the start to the finish i know nothing normal me don't know where vibes cartel go get that flow yeah but Coming like a Mars or Pluto alien brain go pick up that one here. Me not lie, it flow bad. So people, that new song here with Vibes Cartel drop once again. Jump in at the comment section and let me know what y'all think about it. From the lyrics, the flow, everything about it, just bad. Me not lie, people. If I use this song and I say, yo, once again, Vibes Cartel prove that him are the greatest in dance hall well every time vibes cartel drop a bad song like this him always make people keep on a repeat that <laughs> labor day donations we're almost done the packing continues big up to everyone who has donated so far thank you to jp st mary's honey bun grace of course Romish Entertainment, Chat and Love, Labor Day, we help as many people as we can. Packing start already, you know? Yeah. All right, big up Romish and the team helping out, you know, a lot of people in Jamaica for the Labor Day. Yes, people, so right about now, I see something I go around with mother, the name pertaining to Jennifer Mesado case again. Now, this time around, Mesado says she is bankrupt yes people and it's like she's the lawyer who owe mavado millions you see me and me see like all people people i say especially some gully fans if i did them no man them would have to take her out them would have to dash her away based on how she a move like she don't want to pay back mavado so jennifer Mesado, the lawyer paid to buy house for dance hall artist Mavado say she is bankrupt in regards to return funds to him. So people, tell me now, this is a big big joke thing, you know? Whereas Mavado, we not see him come back at Jamaica, so it a go really hard and Mavado, he took it to the media already. He brought it to the media attention and nothing still don't come out of it as yet but mavado be a me say as far as i see mavado still wanting money may I read the comments and it's like me say a lot of fans are in grief right now be a the situation and not even them it reach and them upset over it as you can see right here this person say that's why crime will never done in Jamaica, land we love. And next comment right here, this person say, Hey, she would have to find money quick when me will she, you know, cause them people here take people think for joke. And next comment right here, this person say something in which I agree with, also important. 
As you can see, the person said, but seeing she is declaring bankruptcy, then they should have her sell all her assets to clear off some of the debt. So, people, let me know what y'all think about this situation right here as Mavado case update. Alright, so Skilly Benga move tough in the street after the fans them see this video right here is like they must say no man is like him and the chopper girl in her things. First we see Skilly Bang with Alex the Sky now this yo Skilly Bang you know the fans them rate Skilly Bang pan a level still the way in profile and them things there. But when we really come for talk about at the new song with Skilly Bang have drop with and next remixing of people, Babish Murder. Yes, people. So look out for the remix for Crocodile Teeth once again after the first one with Nicki Minaj drop already. You know, go on, listen to that. You see me? Yeah, until you know, hear a next remix again. From last year when me I reviewed the song, you know, me already said say Crocodile Teeth are gonna be one of them songs there. We really bring Skilly Bang on the international side away. Them no bad like you, my DJ, me tell you that's true. None of them can't stop you, no man can't stop you. Even yourself can't stop you. The energy was right because Shaggy and I, we recorded our parts first. But the moment mm -hmm. we reach out to John Paul and send the song to him and say, Hey, you know, I would like you to be on this track. He sent me back his verse the next day. So it was pretty easy, mind blowing. I was like, oh my God, is this easy to get, you know, two big legends together? Well, that's pretty because easy. you're a legend in your own right. You are the sitting queen of the dance hall. So that should be no sweat for you. I know, right? Definitely. But I'm just so happy and elated that it, we're able to showcase the uni unity within our genre. Dancehall, you know, is huge. It's very impactful. So many other genres take from us. And it's good to see that we're able to come together and collab on a track like Godong Day. It's been doing extremely well. And I'm just happy overall at the outcome. Okay. So I've been avoiding it because I do not want all the jamaican people in the comments to eat me up but i'm gonna try so go down there go down there <laughs> go down go there down. go down there yeah no i know i know what it means i'm just trying to figure out what, what to say it exactly. means because i think some people from america have been saying go down what what do you think it means when i say go down okay it's so about let me not even say it's about it's whining about, and going. It's about whining and going all the way to the floor. It's like whining and going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I thought. Oh, some people. Say, <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. I didn't think that. I thought it was like when you need when you got those. <laughs> yes it is so hot and it is the perfect track for summer so i just want to ask you how what is your creative process like especially when there's so much pressure people just have such high expectations for you to make them dance and for your music to provide so much joy what is it like for you when you're going in the studio just thinking like okay i gotta make something happen for summer? let me just speak on you saying people have so much such a high expectation when it comes down to me and my fans them they definitely have a high expectation well when i think about songs that i've given given them like you know indicator and i've given them eagle eye and i've given them a, a, you know so me like it it's like sometimes i'm like okay what next what do you give them the expectations is definitely high because i keep on raising the bar so mm -hmm. each time i gotta come with something bigger and bigger every time and that's also one of the main reason why when i reached out to shaggy because a lot of people need to know as an artist you got to always reinvent you got to always come with something new you got to come with things that your fans don't expect so yeah. you know keeping being consistent and raising the bar each time is not is not it's not easy because I always like to keep my fans on their toes. They know I play around with them all the time. Sometimes I keep them guessing, wondering what I'm going to do. You know, you know, I just like to have fun with them as well. So I like to give them, I, I'm an entertainer. And I believe that as an artist, you got to use your art and entertain. Yes. And you know, Jamaica is synonymous 
with fun and good vibes. And I think you are synonymous with fun and good vibes. And you call your fans your besties.